What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, Trey, let's get in some MLB picks and props for Monday, July 17th slate of games. Take a look at that leaderboard start us off. Yes, I went 1-0 yesterday. It's a little bit risky, but I had the Yankees over their 6.5 team total runs versus the Rockies. In this bet, it was pretty sweaty throughout this game, but thankfully New York cashed the over for us. And it took extra innings to get us there, but it doesn't matter because a cash bet's a cash bet. Because the Yankees, they scored two runs in the top of the ninth to force extra innings. And then they scored two runs in the top of the 11th to get us the seven total runs. So shout out to New York Yankees for continuing to fight hard for our money there. Yeah, I had the Nationals. Uh, their pitching staff sucks. And that's all I got to say about the game. They had enough runs to win the game. The pitching sucks. So we're moving on to today's picks. Trey, start us off for our place today. Yes, I'm going to be going attacking two terrible teams here. I'm going to be going with the Detroit Tigers at the Kansas City Royals game. And these two teams, they have the blessing of playing in the AL Central because the Tigers, they're shockingly not out of the playoff race, to be honest, with a 41 and 51 record. They're only six games behind the Twins right now. Meanwhile, the Royals, they are terrible all the way down there with the second worst record in the entire MLB with a 27 and 67 record. And they are 14 and 33 at home. And Kansas City, they've just shown no will to win games, even at home. So give me the Tigers on the money line here. I think it's the perfect amount of juice at minus 134. They're the better team. They have the better pitcher and the better hitters in this game. Because Detroit, they're throwing out Matt Manning in this game. And Manning, he's been very consistent for the Tigers this season. And he's only pitched in five games so far. But he has turned it to a 3-1 and one record with a 3.72 ERA. In Kansas City, they're throwing out the old reliable Jordan Lyles in this game. Everyone's favorite pitcher because Lyles, he's been brutal for Kansas City this season in his 17 starts. He has a staggering 1-11 record with a 6.42 ERA. It's nice to see that he finally has a 1 in the win column because it was just brutal loss after loss after loss. But he's been brutal all season, and it should continue in this game because Lyles, he even pitched against this Tigers team earlier this season. And he pitched in six innings and allowed three runs on six hits. So there's a good trend right there. We just need to hope he's bad in this game again, like he has been all season long. So giving the Detroit Tigers here on the money line versus the Kansas City Royals. Yeah, try. I love that play. For my play today, I'm going to be looking at the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Baltimore Orioles. I'm going to grab the Baltimore Orioles on the money line at minus 120, even though I don't really like who they have on the mound in this game. The Orioles will have Grayson Rodriguez on the mound. Who is only 23 years old, but this will be his fifth year in Baltimore. He has struggled this season coming in with a 7.35 ERA. And in his last game, he allowed eight earned runs on six hits going up against the Rangers. But if we look back at his starts, he has had a bad game, then a good game, then a bad game, then a good game over the last five games. There is a trend there. And if we go back even further, he had two straight games where he allowed zero earned runs going five plus innings in both of those starts. I don't think either of these guys have the advantage because on the other side, we have Emmett Sheehan for the Dodgers, who has given up 10 earned runs over his last three starts as well. In his last game against the Pittsburgh Pirates, he only went three and two-thirds innings. He gave up five earned runs, so I'm just going to go with the hotter team today. The Oars are coming into this game on an eight-game winning streak, and they have scored five-plus runs in seven of their last eight games. They are on a different level right now, and a lot of people did not see this coming, but they are on their way to a playoff berth. Give me the Orioles on the money line against the Dodgers tomorrow as my play today. Try to take a look at those player props from yesterday. Start us off. Yes, and another average day for us. We're going to keep it going. Hopefully, we're going to break the chain today, though. But I gave out yesterday Carlos Correa over 7.5 fantasy score versus the A's and Garrett Cole under 2.5 earned runs allowed versus the Rockies. And Correa, he got walked twice in this game and got out the other two times. So he only finished with four fantasy points for us. He hit the under, not what we needed in this game. But thankfully, Garrett Cole, he was just as dominant as I projected. He pitched in six innings in this game, only allowing one run on two hits and one walk. He was really good playing at Coors Field like he has been his entire career. So I went one and one yesterday, but I'm going to sweep the board today. Yeah, Trey had Nico Horner over one and a half bases as my win. He lucked out. He lucked out. He saved my bacon in the top of the ninth. He had a triple. So thank you, Nico, for saving my day. And then I had Justin Steele under two and a half earned runs against the Boston Red Sox. Fifth inning. Bases loaded, no outs, already allowed two runs. I thought everything was dead. He got one out on a pop-up. He struck out the next man and then one bad pitch, uh, grand slam. So that was tough to watch, and I also had the Red Sox under today. So uh, that was a very tough game to watch for me. So we're moving on to tomorrow, Trey. We are 2-2 two and two again as a team. Let's try to sweep the board today. Start us off. Yes, I'm going to be attacking Julio Rodriguez 
under seven and a half fantasy score versus the Twins. Julio has not enjoyed a nice 2023 season, even though he did light up the home run derby. He has not carried that momentum into the second half of the season so far through the first three games post All-Star break. He has only had 11 at-bats and he only has three hits. That's a 273 batting average. And he's not getting any breaks in this game versus Sonny Gray. Because Sonny Gray, he's been elite this year. If you watch our channel for a while, you know that I love me some Sonny Gray. And these two have some history against each other. They've only faced each other in four at-bats. And Julio, he's 0 for 4 against Gray. And I think there's a great chance for that to continue here. Because like I said, Gray's been elite all season with a 2.74 road ERA with a 1.38 whip. He's been great at not allowing a lot of base runners. And I don't think Julio will sniff the base here. So give me Julio Rodriguez to go under seven and a half fantasy score versus the Twins. Yeah, Trey, for my batting prop today, I'm going to be looking at Adley Rutschman to go over one and a half bases going up against the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers, like I said earlier, they're going to be throwing out Amy Sheehan, and he's been very bad over his last two starts, giving up 11 hits and eight earned runs against the Rockies and the Pittsburgh Pirates. My guess is that Adley will be batting from the right side in this game because Sheehan has been very good against left-handed batters. But luckily for us, Adley is a switch hitter. Rutschman is hitting 283 from the left and 273 from the right, making him a very good weapon for the Baltimore Orioles. And out of the All-Star break, he's recorded at least one hit in all three of his games. He is on fire, just like the rest of the Baltimore Orioles right now. And I'm going to take him to get the best of him at least a couple times in this game, going over one and a half bases against the Dodgers tomorrow. Trey? Yes, and my pitching prop, I talked about him earlier in the game pick section. But it's going to be Matt Manning, under two and a half earned runs allowed versus the Royals. And Manning, he's a young pitcher for the Tigers who's enjoyed a really nice 2023 season. But he's only pitched in five games so far, but turned into a 3-1 and one record with a 3.72 ERA. But Manning, he's been elite this season at keeping the base pass clear because he has an impressive 1.03 whip this season. Anything below one is elite, and he's almost below one. And that should continue here in this game versus Kansas City because the Royals, they've been terrible at scoring runs early in the games. In fact, they are ranked dead last when it comes to scoring runs in the first five innings. They only average 1.97 runs per game in the first five. That's just dreadful. So we just need Manning to come in this game and pitch a normal game and Kansas City to do their thing like they've been all season and suck at the plate. This bet is a great lock. So give me Matt Manning under two and a half earned runs allowed versus the Royals. Yeah, try to like that play as well. For my pitching prop, I'm going back to one of my favorite players, and it's going to be in the same game. In the MLB, I'm going to take Jordan Lyles, over two and a half earned runs going up against the Tigers. I'm going with the over, even though the Tigers right now are the 29th ranked team in the MLB in terms of batting average, having a 230 team batting average. The Tigers were able to put up five plus runs in two of their last three games, so their bats are cooking a little bit. But what it really comes down to is that Jordan Lyles is addicted to giving up runs. This season, Jordan has given up 69 earned runs over 96 innings, giving up three plus earned runs in eight of his last 10 starts. In his last start, he only gave up one earned run to the Cleveland Guardians, helping his ERA go from nearly 7 to 6.42 on the season. I'm not saying that the Tigers are a good offensive team. I'm just saying Jordan Lyles is worse than them. Take him to have another bad night against the Tigers, going over two and a half earned runs against Detroit tomorrow night. Trey, that'll do it for our MLB Player Props and Game Picks for Monday, July 17th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.